Fluid is a one-of-a-kind reading experience. An interactive novel you create with the author. A book where your choices result in different beginnings, different endings, and different pathways. A story about free will that requires your free will. My job is to know what book you want, even before you do. Watch. Excuse me, can I take a couple minutes of your time? It'll just take a second. Uh, if, sure. You don't mind? Okay, cool, thanks. Um, we're shooting some video promotions for a book that I wrote. Uh -huh. I'm Travis, hi. Travis, Julia. Julia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So uh, I wrote this novel called Fluid, okay. and we're shooting a couple of video promos for it to put on online. Um, so Fluid is a digital interactive novel, and what that means is that uh, it's a book that you have to exert your free will on. You have to interact with it to tell the story. So okay. you read some of the book, you come to a choice point. Does she go to the bar or not? And you have to answer that question, sure. and that happens in the book. So um, your decisions have repercussions in the book, and good or, good things can happen to bad people, or uh -huh. you know, bad things can happen to good people. Okay. Um, and there's different endings, different pathways. There's over 500 different ways through the book. Wow. So I thought the best way to represent that was through some visual cards. Okay. May I move your yeah. things? Yeah. Sure. So uh, each of these cards, I have two okay. sets of identical cards here. I'm going to give you one set, and I'll keep a set. That's for you. Okay. If I can clear this out as well. Yeah. That's okay. um, so each of these pictures represents a crucial scene in the book. Okay. okay. So let's lay them out left to right so you can see all of them with me. There's a hamburger. Okay. Just mirror them up here. There's Jesus Christ. <laughs> a scorpion. The Big Bang. A devil. A magic wand. A storm. And a 1950s style car crash. Okay. Okay. So if you notice, we do have the same exact cards. And I don't want to see the choices that you're about to make. So I'm going to give you a divider here to protect your choices. Okay. And similarly, I don't want you to see my choices. So I'm going to protect my own choices. So okay. if you move that coffee cup a little to the, to the right. OK. This will keep it secret, because I want you to have your own choices, Julia. Um, fantastic. And can you see my cards? No. And are you content that I cannot see your cards? Uh, yeah. OK, fantastic. All right. So, Julia, starting with your left and looking to your right, I want you to find two images that appeal to you, that resonate with you, that you really, really like. And I want you to put one index finger on each card for me. Let me know when you've done that. OK. OK. Um, and I want you to take them out and switch places. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and switch the location of those two cards for me and slide them back into the line, OK? And now I want you to start with your right and go to your left. Mm -hmm. And I want you to find two images that repulse you, that you have a physical sort of visceral reaction mm -hmm. against. And I want you to put one index finger on each card for me, please. Okay. Hmm. And I want you to switch the location of those for me, if you would. Have you done that? Put them back in line? Yep. This time, I want you to go either left to right or right to left. And I want you to find two images you are indifferent to. So two images that. You can take or leave. They don't really do anything for you. And I want you to turn them over. We're going to remove those chapters from your book. You don't have to read those chapters if they don't interest you. OK? Hmm. OK. And I want you to, lastly, if you would, just use your gut instincts here, Julia. I want you to pull three cards toward you. Mm -hmm. Just any three cards, one at a time, out of the line toward you. OK? I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, Probably this one. And I want you to mix those up for me, okay. any, or, any order you like, and I want you to put them back in the line. OK, have you done that? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. OK, so are you content that this is a new random order for your book? Yeah. This is not the order you started in, I assume. Yeah. It's not something you could have predicted that you would have done. You picked your right. favorites, and then you picked your least favorites, and then some that were indifferent to you. You've removed chapters from your book. Right. And then finally, you randomly selected three ones to mix up and put back in. Right. OK? So if our orders were similar or matched, that would be an impressive thing, yes? Yeah. Before we, before we compare orders to see how our choices match okay. up, I want you to look through one by one, mm -hmm. and I want you to pick a favorite, favorite, favorite card, your absolute favorite card. Okay. And I don't want you to say it out loud. I just want you to sort of hold on to it in your head and focus really hard on that, on that card, OK? okay. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to guess the opposite first. I, I, I have a strong feeling, mm -hmm. based on just our brief interaction, that one of the cards that you were repulsed from, mm -hmm. repulsed by, was the devil card. Is that right? Yeah. It is right. Yeah. What is it about that card that made you sort of maybe feel like it wasn't quite right for you? Well, I'm kind of a spiritual person. Oh, really? So, yeah, so I don't, I, that's kind of an area that I 
try not to battle it. Interesting. Yeah. Would you do me a favor then? Would you look at the devil card for me and focus on it for just one second? Sure. Fantastic. And now, conversely, I'm going to guess that one of your favorite cards is probably the Jesus card. Is that correct? Fair judgment. That's yeah. a fair judgment, right? Yeah. So, so you had uh, visceral reactions to both the pos the, the religious cards, basically, the positive sure. and negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's take the uh, these dividers down and see how okay. our books match up. Okay. Just want to make sure I had a good read on you here. Take a look there. I think actually we... I think we actually told exactly the yeah. same story here. That's fantastic. So we had the car crash, devil, big bang, scorpion, storm, and Jesus there on the end. What's interesting here is that you either started or ended with Jesus, sort of alpha and omega here. Yeah. Now, for the first time, Julia, if you tell me the favorite card, your absolute favorite, favorite card, what is that card? What is this one? The storm. Mm -hmm. That's surprising because we, we talked about Jesus and the devil, mm -hmm. but the storm was your favorite card. Right. This is going to make you very happy. Okay. Before I came over, yeah. I made the backdrop of my iPad what I predicted your favorite card would be. I think it opens that way. Go ahead and open that up, and it's indeed, tell the camera what that is, the storm, right? That's the storm image. Let me do you one better, Julia. Before I came today, lest yeah. you thought that I was reading your eye movements yeah. or sort of judging your hand movements, right, right. before I came today, I wrote down my prediction of what your story would be, uh -huh. sealed it in an envelope, and put it behind the iPad. I want you to okay. take that out for me. Reach behind the iPad. Right there. Yeah. Pull that out. Show the camera that it's sealed. It's been yeah. here the entire time in plain view. Open that up for me, and I want you to read that for the camera, if you would. Your story that you randomly chose, the pathway you took your is story, what? Your order of your story will read car crash, devil, big bang, scorpion, storm, Jesus. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. That was a, this is a strange day. This is not how I saw my day going today, but this is kind of cool. That was, that was cool. I'm curious to know more and why and how. There's no way he could have known that the that the storm that storm was a metaphor that meant something to me or that I'm attracted to water or anything like that. That's something that actually a lot of people don't know about me. I, I had never thought about the idea that a reader and an author could be almost working in tandem. <laughs> yes, I would be interested in reading the book now, absolutely.